Welcome to Columbus. If you've not been here in some time, you will not recognize the changes the city has undergone in the last really 20 years. Personally, I grew up about 45 minutes west of Columbus here, but came to Columbus, well, Westerville really, a suburb of Columbus for college. Worked a year downtown, Nationwide Financial, and then moved out west for about 10 years. So late 2012 that I moved back to the Columbus area with my family, and I could not even recognize the city. It was totally different. Our, really, our, honestly, our plan was to live here two to four years. I had a corporate job, and then head back to Colorado. But we got here, and it was like, Columbus was definitely not the city I remembered. In the early 2000s, there was not much reason to come downtown. Um, the arena district was just starting. The Blue Jackets were there. I think there was a Tez Montana grill, but that's about that. That's about it. You could find parking west of downtown um, in the abandoned warehouse district. So we got here. What we found was a little bit slower pace of life than Denver, and cost of living was so much cheaper. I mean, we could be here and afford provide really great opportunities for our family. Um, travel opportunities and uh, there was great schooling here so we just ultimately decided why would we leave why would we leave a good thing Columbus has a lot of good things going for it what I would recognize happening in Columbus I saw happen in Denver in the early 2000s and fast forward that 10 years and the arena district is bustling the short north is bustling a lot of the areas that had blight immediately surrounding downtown had been gentrified there were boutique businesses, restaurants, bars, it just in general a lot going on. So Columbus totally changed and in fact it is the census 14th largest city with about 2 million residents today which is about 9% higher than over the last 10 years. So many experts are in fact predicting that there's going to be 3 million people here by 2050. So that's a whole heck of a lot of growth. All that means that we are the fastest growing city in the Midwest, and it makes total sense. I mean, mac at a macro level, Columbus has a ton going for it. We are uniquely situated in the country in that we are about three hours from several major metropolitan areas. Detroit, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Louisville, and what's more is we're about an eight hour drive within 70% of the US population. So it makes total sense why businesses would relocate here. Uh, we are home of the third largest university, Ohio State University, go Bucks. Uh, they have about 60,000 students that are employed here, not to mention all the support staff, all the researchers, all the professors that go along with that. So Columbus has an extremely diverse employment base. Uh, back in 2009, the Great Recession, uh, Columbus was hit, but not hit like other uh, other cities were. We do not, you know, unlike a lot of Midwestern cities, we're not really a rust, rust Belt town. I mean, we do have manufacturing, but there are plenty of other business sectors that uh, are located here in Columbus. Think uh, education. So I mentioned Ohio State. There's plenty of other universities that are supplying talent to the area. That means businesses want to be here. We got banking. JP Morgan uh, Chase bought local, uh, locally founded Bank One and have since relocated a lot of their New York based jobs to the area. Nationwide Insurance is a big player nationally and is located right here and founded right here in Columbus. Uh, Battelle Memorial Institute is the largest private sector research facility. Fashion industry is big here, believe it or not. Um, Columbus is third only behind New York and LA and employing fashion designers. We've got retail with uh, DSW being founded and, and based out of here. Food, we've got uh, Wendy's, uh, Dave Thomas was founded here in Columbus. We've got uh, the Great Steak Escape. We've got uh, White Castle, Cameron R Mitchell restaurants. I had been investing in real estate personally in, since the early 2000s and decided it made sense to get my real estate license to continue uh, building on to our investment portfolio. But I enjoy helping people, so it also made a lot of sense for me to get my real estate license to help people purchase good homes for themselves and 
share my investment experience with them to hopefully help them get their investment career started with regards to real estate. So, and it's been going very well. A lot of people move into the area and Columbus just has a lot going for it. There's a lot of diversity here with ideas and what people are into, what people are interested in. And we decided to stay and have nothing but great things to say. So what do we like to do here in Columbus? We have, I've got, I've got two young children, so our life is different um, in the activities that we do, but we like to come down here to the splash pad. We like to go to the zoo. Columbus has one of the best zoos in the world, really, ranked only behind San Diego. And I don't know, Jack Hand has done a great job and his whole team over there at Columbus Zoo, so we get a membership to that. We've got uh, Kosai right across the way, which is like a kid's uh, science and technology museum, interactive museum. Uh, so we like to do that. Uh, the, there's tons of metro parks in the area we like to spend time at, going through the ravines, on the hiking trails, uh, exploring just south of Columbus and down in Hocking Hills. There's some great, really the start of the Appalachian Mountains. There's, so there's some great opportunities for hiking, and seeing and experiencing nature. Tell me what it is you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. Love that. Amy Ivins, Art, and his partner Martin's Art. They did this installation. It was interesting to talk to him about the challenges of, you know, how do you even start a mural like this? They just started filling things in, but I know one of the challenges was painting on rotten plywood. But this is fun, super cool. This spot was the go-to 15 years ago when I used to work at Nationwide. North Market here, right downtown, uh, gets over a million visitors each year, and it's home to small businesses, anything from candy makers, small green grocers, We've got fishmongers, startup restaurants, wine and wine and beer, and cheese shops, all sorts of different things. It's a great place to come and eat, uh, come and buy produce. So awesome, awesome spot here. Markets were all, the original ones were all lost in the fires in the 1940s. You know, fires used to be a huge issue in cities, right? Uh, we don't think about that much anymore because there's prevalence of fire departments, but for all these markets to be lost in the 1940s, that's pretty, pretty important. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Do me a favor, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Thank you so much for watching, and oh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.